How to hotwire a car. No keys and no help in sight, here's how to get your car moving again. You will need proof of ownership of the vehicle, a hammer, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, your car's manual, insulated gloves, and wire cutters and strippers. Hot wiring a car is dangerous and likely to damage your vehicle. Never hot wire anyone's car but yours and be prepared to show your proof of ownership. Step 1. Pound a flathead screwdriver into the ignition and turn it like a key. This will ruin the ignition cylinder, but it's effective on many cars manufactured before the mid-90s. Step 2. If the car doesn't start, pull the screwdriver out of the ignition and remove the screws and the panels on the top and bottom of the steering column. Next, use the flathead screwdriver to pry off the plastic panels and expose the ignition cylinder and the wires running to it. Be gentle to minimize damage to the steering column. Step 3. Identify the battery and starter wires. Generally, the two red wires handle the car's power, and the one or two brown wires connect to the starter. Consult your car's manual to learn its specific wire color code. Step 4. Put on the gloves and use the cutters to cut the power wires from the cylinder. Then, strip the ends and connect them by twisting them together to provide power to the lights, radio, and other electrical systems. Step 5. Cut the starter wires from the cylinder and strip the ends. Be extremely careful not to touch the exposed ends as they carry a powerful live current and will shock you. Touch them together and as soon as the car is started, pull them apart and tape the ends to avoid getting shocked while driving. If the car has only one starter wire, touch it to the exposed part of the connected power wires to start the car. Step 6. Deal with additional security. In some cars, the steering wheel's locks bolt can be pried open by jamming a screwdriver between the top of the steering column and the steering wheel. Newer cars have complex wheel locks and electronic key systems that are nearly impossible to circumvent without tools and in-depth knowledge. Step 7. Turn the car off by separating the power wires from each other. Now it's time to find that extra set of keys and head to the repair shop, pronto. Did you know? In 2008, vehicle thefts in the U.S. declined for the fifth year in a row.